the Guptas distracting the ANC from conducting the revolution? What is the ANC doing with its members implicated in the Gupta-linked emails? Is the ANC in crisis because of the Guptas? And does Mzwandile Masina regret calling on President Zuma to manage the Guptas? What time is it? It's question time. And welcome to the show. My name is Paul Said. You a number of ANC politicians, some senior at national, provincial, and local government levels, are implicated in the recently leaked Gupta linked emails. The Gupta's name came up during the Umkonto Sizwe Military Veterans Association's fifth elective conference in Boxbeck over the weekend. Addressing the event, Egurulene Regional Chairperson of the ANC. Mzwandi Masina called on President Jacob Zuma to help request the Guptas to give the ANC space to conduct the revolution. Masina criticized alliance partners, the SACP and COSATU, for seeking to dictate to the ANC. He also called on members of MK Council, that is, to attend gatherings like the one held in Boxbeck, saying it was the only platform where leaders would engage on issues. We are live. And therefore, you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial 089-110-4210. Our Twitter handle, at question time 24. My guest today, Mzondile Masina. He is the ANC chairperson of Egoruleni region. But before we talk about um, the ANC matters, today a memorial service is being held in honor of Andimba Doivo Doivo, a great revolutionary who was one of the founding members of SWAPO in Namibia and served time on Robben Island. Doivo was actually <coughs> our guest some time back uh, here or on Question Time. And we send our condolences to the people of Namibia, but also to the, his comrades within the uh, SWAPO movement. May his soul rest in peace. Indeed, Mzondile, perhaps uh, just your your words of comfort to the people of Namibia and to Swapo over Toivo's passing? Well, uh, I think the ANC National <coughs> Executive Committee will pay a befitting tribute, uh, but because I am here as a child of the ANC, we're always inspired uh, by his courage, his conviction, and the support that uh, the African National Congress enjoyed yeah. uh, from Swapo. We are quite saddened by his passing, and um, I have no doubt that our organization, the ANC, will be in a position to pay a, be, a befitting uh, tribute on our behalf. Tondile, thanks very much for <coughs> making time to talk to us today. Um, over the weekend, um, we, we were actually um, shocked. At, wow, here is this regional leader of the ANC calling on the president to talk to his friends, basically, to say, please, pr um, Comrade President, talk to these guys and let them give us space. What did you mean, give us space to conduct the revolution? Are they such an impediment? Well, the ANC was formed as a liber liberation movement to liberate the people of South Africa. And I believe that over the past 23 years, a lot of work has been done to ensure that our people are free. But uh, as you know it, uh, we are now focusing on what we call the second phase of the of the transition, wherein the issues of economic transformation are critical. Mm. Uh, but that program is being disturbed um, uh, by many of the occurrences uh, that we have seen uh, uh, as membership of the African National Congress. So when I was speaking there specifically, uh, I was <coughs> addressing the leadership of the ANC collective to say uh, it, it will be ideal that this matter, because it has been discussed mm. uh, extensively, that uh, we are given space because uh, in the midst of us going to communities, doing the kind of work that we're doing, uh, we're always constantly challenged to, uh, 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 to answer some of the questions about some of the leaks mm. and this and that. And uh, for me, I think that uh, it was in that spirit. It was not to um, personally confront the president, but it was to say that the leadership collective under him, because we elected President Zuma, they must be, they must be able to sit somewhere and assist us. Um, uh, because we are, uh, every day we are hard at work ensuring that the ANC uh, resonate with the people, but our people want to know 
some of the answers and, and, and it, it can be because in the ANC we do have a space to ask some of the critical and uncomfortable questions. So it was in that context that uh, we, we, we had to, to use the gathering to ask. So are you saying therefore that the Guptas are a problem to the ANC? Well, uh, I don't think I'm qualified <coughs> to say that, except to say that there are many issues in recent times mm. that have come up that uh, uh, are raising many questions that uh, if left unanswered, you know that in, politi in politics, uh, percep perception is everything. Yep. <coughs> so we have a responsibility, therefore, to correct, uh, because uh, I, I don't have, I've not never uh, done any investigation on the Guptas to come to any particular conclusion, but the things that are in the public discourse they worry me as a person and as, as a cadre of the ANC. And uh, because of the position I hold as a leader of the ANC, I, I, I do have space to raise some of the critical issues. And uh, I think uh, that's exactly what we are doing. Nathan, you are in the Eastern Cape. Welcome. Hello, Mpo. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for the call. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, there's a whole debacle about uh, President Juma and uh, Guptas. Yes. You know, he was the only one in South Africa and the only one that can give permission for the Guptas to land on the airbase. And another thing is, um, the ANC were lost 2019 because Zuma take the ANC right down in the ground. And the poorest of the poor is still poor, and Zuma is just eating all the money, you know. And nobody, the ANC don't want him to let go. Because I don't know what he gave them, because, um, I mean, the people is suffering in the whole South Africa today. Okay, Thank Nathan, you. thanks very much for the call there. Well, Nathan's expression, like you're saying, on your uh, engagement with people, obviously you will be asked, but... Yeah, look, as I said, that uh, politics <coughs> is perception, and if left unattended, it can become the truth easily. So how can um, it be attended in the end? Well, uh, that is why we're now having, uh, forcing the leadership uh, to actually have a conversation so that we can assist the ANC. The ANC, uh, we don't, we're not requesting um, um, a space, um, we're not requesting them to conduct the revolution, but we're saying that it would appear that they are too close to our environment to the point that... Uh, uh, w there must be a conversation, as especially at the leadership level, to assist us. If you look into the resolution of the ANC from the last NEC, it says that there must be a commission of inquiry uh, that extends uh, 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 to the touch on the issue of the Guptas as raised in the um, public protectors report, but go beyond that. And we agree mm -hmm. because uh, um, this issue is now robbing us an opportunity to discuss and resolve societal challenges. I want to submit to Mpo uh, uh, that uh, and the people of South Africa that we have not had a conversation about the 97 percent JSE that is controlled by monopoly capital all because they are these issues that are destabilizing us and I'm saying that as soon as we can clear them we can focus South Africans to deal with actual issues that are confronting us and 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 I really don't want to get into uh, much <coughs> leaning uh, because I've never conducted any uh, 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 research with I've never met them okay. I don't know them but uh, I am concerned with what I see in the public uh, domain and okay. it was in that context that I, I, I was raising my, 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 my issues Lucky you and Binoni, welcome Yeah How are you Mpo? I'm well, thanks for the call uh, uh, How are you uh, Mayor? Kunja, I'm for it Thank you very much Mayor uh, I, I had a problem with my land, and uh, I phoned you, your office, and uh, you did help me. Thank you very much. And the tribunal, uh, we actually, on the, on, the, on the 23rd of May, the tribunal was set there, and uh, we have talked a lot of things. Thank you very much, uh, Executive Mayor. And Paul, yes. the previous speaker, uh, when he said uh, ANC is going to lose, Yes. ANC is not going to lose. We are together, and we are going to vote on the, on the, on, on the, on the 2019 ANC will win again. Thank you very much. Okay, Lucky. Thank you. Well, Lucky is yeah. an optimistic uh, fellow there. Look, um, the ANC has done a lot for the people of South Africa, and we are amongst the people of South Africa. And I think that we are best suited and we understand the challenges that are facing our people as, as witness uh, from this one caller as an example. 
when local government were confronted with a number of challenges, some will resolve, some they take time. And we are saying that we, we want to ask uh, that uh, that program can never be destabilized because when the ANC was formed, it was formed for generations to come. So we have that responsibility to make sure that it lives longer to liberate completely the people of South Africa. That is why it is undesirable. So I, I sometimes get worried and I want to have a conversation with callers that says the ANC must lose power. It must lose power to who? Because only the ANC has got a program that is pro-poor, that can uh, extricate our people from poverty. And we do it every day uh, 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 as the African National Congress-led government. But you we do accept that there are challenges that, must, that we must confront uh, uh, moving forward. You raised something very interesting here, that um, the country is losing an opportunity to talk about the transformation of the JSE, right? Um, where monopoly capital operates from. Um, whether it be white or black, I don't know what, what the situation is there, but we will uh, take this matter further. Let me take uh, Muzi. Muzi, you are in Peter Marisbeck. Welcome. Hi, Nijan Baba, a studio. Siya Pila Nijan Baba, I'm Kungudov. Siya Pila, I'm for a normal way to lapo kumriti, Siya Pila. Siya Pila, I'm for it. Siya Pila, one would like to raise a few things pertaining the Guptas. Yes. Uguti, it's very sad, Mpo Uguti, now the monopoly capital uh, capital propaganda. It's shifting the focus. Uguti, the Guptas never came with President uh, Zuma. Mm -hmm. The Guptas, it's a pity that uh, President Mandela is no more, uh, but fortunately, former President Mpegi mm. is here and still alive. Why can't the President Mpegi answer where did the Guptas came from and how did he came to a part where now you open a paper, we are reading a newspaper, uh, we listening to the radio, TV, it's about the Guptas. Yes. We're now going to engage the white monopoly capital propaganda of looting our state in the name of the Guptas because now they've shifted their focus. They want us to believe that the, the Guptas came with President Zuma. Okay. President Mpegi should come in public and tell the masses where the Guptas came from, who introduced the Guptas to our government. Okay. That yes. one will help the people of South Africa. I'm happy that there will be a commission of inquiry, which would like it to start from the 1980s when the Guptas arrived in South Africa. We will, will, will appreciate us as, as black South Africans, which have been deprived uh, ourselves with the economic power, the economic freedom by, 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 the, by, by the white and the, 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 the other people who are now using this propaganda. Okay. Of the Thank you. Thank you very much, Muzi. Muzandile, white monopoly capital and, cap and, and any monopoly capital cannot be good for South Africans. So are we not supposed to be worried that monopoly capital is either white or Indian or black? Well, look, uh, the debate here is about the ownership patterns uh, in South Africa, which uh, predominantly is still white. And uh, because of these uh, many other issues that we have s spoken about, we don't have an opportunity as a nation to reflect mm. uh, and, and begin to push harder. You've seen uh, uh, during the last few, uh, uh, a few years, President Zuma has very hard uh, pushed the issue, the question of the land, yes. that it must be returned to the rightful owners. And that issue is negated because there is this elephant in the room that uh, 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 once we start talking about monopoly capital, you are captured. So the reason why some of us must speak and speak firmly is that we are not captured um, um, we must speak about the issues that the president is raising because it's critical issues of the land, issues of radical economic transformation, they should be on the agenda. Issues of transformation uh, uh, of the judiciary and all those issues. Those issues now, they no longer have a space in the public de a a a debate. It's like the newsroom is bought every day we are given emails uh, of, of whatever sort and no one has sought to ask how were those emails um, acquired and, uh, and, 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 and and I'm not here to answer that but I'm just saying that those are the things that should worry us as a nation that if there can be such leakages it means me and you are living in a country that is not safe it can be Guptas today tomorrow it can be me and you and, and, and that answer the media has not been able to come forward to say where did they get the original of those issues even 
before we start engaging with the content uh, which is uh, worrying all of us and that's, that's why I was speaking. Let's go to Mahikeng Clayton, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thanks for the call. Fine, thank you. I always tell my friends, black and white alike, you know, I think apartheid wasn't about a black-white thing, it was more about money. No, 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 it was about oppressing us, Clayton. Uh, yes, oppressing blacks yes. to get more money, to get whatever they could out of you. Okay. Now, what I say is apartheid was stealing from the poor. Corruption is stealing from the poor. Same crime, different hypocrites. The ultimate crime, stealing from the poor. That's all I have to say. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Clayton, there. Wow. Corruption and apartheid are the same. Well, uh, I think the ANC, our organization, has pronounced itself over and over on issues of corruption, that we are not going to tolerate corruption wherever it, it raises its ugly head. Um, um, and that is why we are concerned about these things. Otherwise, we'll look away and say, where did these leaks come from, and so on and so on. We are raising our concern because we are worried about potential. But in fact, uh, to Clayton, the biggest corruption in South Africa is from, uh, is from monopoly white capital. That those are the people who continue to steal. They are even more richer than they were during, uh, 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 even before apartheid. So we've got to have a conversation with them. They must retain our land. We must ensure that we become part of the ownership of the means of production in this country. In that way, uh, uh, our government is already doing its part. If you look at the social security net, mm -hmm. for the first time in 23 years, over 17 million people are benefiting from social security net. In fact, what worries me, uh, I've, I've taken a closer look into the legacy of President Zuma. The issue of infrastructure built in South Africa comes top. Uh, for the first time in, in post-apartheid that three power stations are being built uh, under his su uh, supervision. The National Development Plan, which has uh, uh, put the nation together, and the and the, and the number of other initiatives that, that are taking place. And we seem to be forgetting those things because of some of the laps okay. that we are seeing from the system. Let's go to the Val, Dougie. Hi, my friend, how are you? I'm well, how are you, Dougie? I want to ask you a couple of questions today. Not me, the, the, the guest, that you mean? That guy, yeah, oh. that guy that's talking, he's most the mayor of Benoni or something. No, 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 you are too old, Dougie, of Eguruleni. Benoni oh, okay. falls under Eguruleni. Okay, good. Yeah. Why, when Jacob Zuma yeah. became president of South Africa, why didn't he then start this nonsense with white monopoly capital? Why, after being president for such a long time, he's now only started this crap? You understand what I'm asking? What's the crap now, Dougie? This thing with white monopoly no, capital. No, 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 no. We, we can't say it's crap. We want okay, the return. We want the return of the land, and the president why is. Why didn't he do it? Why no. didn't he do it when he became president? Why leave it for Can ten years you? later? Oh, Can Dougie? we answer you, Dougie? Mzandile wants to uh, uh, talk to you. Just stay on the line. He's yes, Dougie. If you look in, into the emblem of the ANC, black, the color black represent us as Africans. The color green represent the minerals beneath, the, uh, I mean, the land. The color, um, the um, gold. Uh, gold, represent our minerals beneath the soil. So we've always had that struggle, but it, it's watered down by some of the issues that are coming up. That is why we're worried. So it's not that President Zuma woke up only yesterday and thought that there is a problem of monopoly capital in South Africa. That is why we've waged the struggle against apartheid so that we can liberate our people. And that's the narrative that you don't want us to talk about. You want to continue eating from the state and that we cannot accept. We know that if there are challenges with the, the emails and the Guptas, let's deal with that, but let's not lose the narrative about, the, uh, uh, about that which the ANC was created for. Okay. We, we wanted to defeat apartheid and make sure that we get back the land. And that's the question that uh, seem to be uh, uh, we're losing grab from. Okay. Dougie? The other thing, yes. I just want to say one more thing. Okay. Because now I've listened to him. Yes. The other thing is Nelson Mandela, when they let him out and he became the first president of the democratic state, Everything he had worked for, he had established all these things of the ICC, the Constitutional Court, all these things. Zuma has been breaking everything up, 
because he doesn't want to uh, comply with nothing. The other thing is, when you look at him, eh, he keeps on saying, oh, but I must appeal this thing of the uh, 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 state capture report. Yeah. But why? Okay. Why does he want to appeal, appeal it if it is already recommending that it be taken on, uh, that they investigate it? Okay. Then it's showing you his trying to hide something. All right, Dougie, thank you very much. Thank you. For look, look uh, apartheid government has no, had no systems whatsoever for checks and balances. They were looting the state. They actually left it bankrupt. If I was Dougie, I was not going to phone here and, co and complain. They left us with a bankrupt state, which we had to rebuild from scratch. And President Nelson Mandela, all the ideals that he stood for were ideals of the ANC, and that's why we are still proceeding. Mm. Where the challenges, we are ready to come forward to face the challenges so that, because we are not cowards, we are ready to come forward to face the challenges so that we get back on track. So the institutions of democracy that is speaking about, in fact, what stands out for me, that which Mandela stood for, was recon reconciliation and nation building, which some few white South Africans are, 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 are killing. It. You know, we are seek seeking, we are seeing pockets of um, racism emerging in the country, and we are worried. That is why we speak very firmly about those things, to the point that we are taken to all the, the institutions of democracy the other day. And we subject ourselves, because we believe that we cannot erode uh, the vision of Nelson Mandela to make sure that uh, South Africa belongs to all who lives in it. But Sidi, so you are in Rodiport. Welcome. Hello, Tim. How are you? Kitten Uganda. Kitten of Timak. You know, there is a day today called Mama Twan in Situana. Yes. I, the English name just slipped for me. I don't know what I forget about that, that name. Yes. The, that Mama Twan, it flies at night. Okay. Where sometimes when you look at it, it's like a bird. Sometimes it's like an animal. It's like a red. Yes. Yeah. This bird. When the birds fight with the animals, if the animals win, it becomes an animal. Oh. If the bird wins, it becomes a bird because it flies. Oh. So people like Masina, Mutala yeah. Mutek, they are that bird. Oh. You will see at the moment, he speak about Zuma to give the, tell Zuma that Gupta must give them the space. They prepare for themselves. Come 2019, in January, if there's two camps here, there is Gosana Graman Zuma, there is uh, Cyril Ramaphos. No, there are five. If Cyril, Cyril Ramaphos win, they will start criticizing Zuma. If Gosana Graman Zuma win, they will start to praise Jacob Zuma. Watch that space. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Well. Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, you see, when, when we debate, and that's one thing that we must appeal to South Africans, when there is an issue, no matter how difficult it is, we must never resort to insults because it doesn't help anyone. So, so we are the children of the ANC. Whoever who gets to be elected to lead the ANC, we will praise him, like we are praising President Zuma. We praise him where he's doing right, where he's not doing right. We are able to go and approach him as the head of the ANC to say, President, we think here it is not going to assist our movement because we want the ANC to live for generations to come. So it is not about us and the fortunes of individuals. Unfortunately, the state must have faces, and it is us who are active who will, who will be the faces of, those space, of, those, of the state. We are not going to be afraid to, uh, to say that, but I want to appeal that we are having a, a, a conversation. Let's rather raise critical questions and let's give answers okay. as far as we can. And where we are unable to give answers, let's be honest to South Africans that we think here yeah, we need to go back and with humility to, to, to deal with the issues. Do you believe that the ANC mm. is in a crisis? Well, the ANC is having challenges. Uh, it has admitted uh, in a number of documents oh. that the ANC has, uh, has released. What would be the solution? Well, the solution um, uh, is to renew itself. The organization must renew itself. And I'm happy that uh, in a few weeks' time, we're going to the policy conference where we're going to make uh, resounding uh, uh, decisions. And then thereafter, go to the elective conference and the sitting leadership. President Zuma has uh, uh, declared that he is not available. So we're looking into who, who's next, who's going to come to lead the organization. And uh, for, for my part, I would like to see many young uh, uh, people 
uh, uh, swelling the ranks of the African National Congress because when I read the history of the ANC at all times where there were changes, it is because of the injection of the youth in the system of the African National Congress. And that's what we're calling upon South Africans to do, that bring young delegates so that we can show them the young leaders who have grown through the ranks uh, who must uh, lead even uh, with the the elders of the ANC because we can't wish them away. Some are here. Mm. We can't wish them away, but we would want to see more young people coming into the mainstream uh, of politics. Okay. Mzondila Masina, thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank and you. we wish you all the best. Uh, that was the regional chairperson of the ANC, Negur Leni, Mzondila Masina, and that was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. From me and the entire crew, I will hold. <laughs>